companies leaving town for much cheaper taxes and a cheaper cost of living. Making news this week is Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who announced that he's going to become a Texan. 18,000 companies have left California for more tax and regulatory friendly states. Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody and in today's video we're talking about my lovely home state of California. I've spent my entire life here but I've recently started to notice a disturbing trend. More and more people are starting to pack up and head east to Nevada, Texas, Colorado, and other midwestern states. In this video I want to explain to you why this is happening so that you can understand the story behind the headlines. Don't forget to go like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. This small act helps a channel like mine grow and I would really appreciate your support. So you've probably noticed the laundry list of notable people and companies that have decided to ditch California recently. This includes Elon Musk, Graham Stefan, HP, Palantir, and Oracle, among others. Recent studies, like this one from 2018, found that more than a million people have left California in the past 10 years. This UC Berkeley study from 2019 found that half of the state's voters have considered leaving at one point or another. More people are now leaving California than coming in for the first time in more than a century as the population boom that started during the gold rush is now coming to an end. This problem was only exacerbated by the pandemic. When most people realized they could easily work from home, many decided to move to another state to avoid the high cost of living that's associated with California. Companies like Dropbox, Twitter, and Facebook are among the Silicon Valley employers that are offering permanent remote work to employees. The main problems that are being associated with this exodus are high taxes, high cost of living, and a lack of affordable housing. Taxes in California are no joke. The state has 10 income brackets that go from 0% if you make less than about $9,000 in a year, all the way up to 13.3% if you make more than a million dollars in a year. This is the highest income tax rate in the entire country, and it might even get worse as there's current Currently legislation in the works to increase the maximum to 16.8% for the wealthiest individuals. Obviously it makes sense for millionaires and billionaires to move to states like Nevada and Texas that have no income tax at all so that they could potentially save hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars every year. Not only will you pay high income tax in California, it'll also cost you a lot of money just to live here. Cost of living is the minimum amount needed to cover basics like housing, food, bills, and healthcare. The Golden State is above average in almost every spending category and significantly higher if you look at things like housing and transportation. The median home cost in California is $552,000, which is more than double the national median of $231,000. For example, this is what $500,000 will get you in California, and this is what that same amount of money will get you in Texas. This is what $1 million will get you in California, and this is what that kind of money can buy in Georgia. In addition to all this, California also has the highest sales tax rate in the country, at 7.25%. This means that everything you buy, except for just groceries and medicine, is gonna get taxed at the highest rate in the country. Certain products, like cigarettes and gasoline, are even taxed at a higher rate than this. So not only will you pay an exorbitant amount to the government because of your income, you'll also owe the state a lot just for living here. The lack of affordable housing is another issue that has driven many residents away. California has four of the country's five most expensive residential markets. These are Silicon Valley, San Francisco, Orange County, and San Diego, with LA also coming in at number seven. 40% of California residents are considered cost burdened for housing, which means that 30% or more of their annual income goes towards shelter. And while the state only accounts for 12% of the country's population, we make up a quarter of the homeless population. The problem lies in the fact that low cost housing just isn't being built fast enough. In 2016, it was estimated that California would need to build an additional 3.5 million houses by 2026 to keep up with demand, and Governor Gavin Newsom made this a central part of his administration's goals. But more conservative studies are showing that this number might not be attainable until 2050. Sadly, this problem is at its most extreme in California, but it's becoming more and more apparent throughout the country. The nation is in its longest economic expansion in history, but houses just aren't being built at the same rate that they used to. This is pushing prices further and further out of reach for workers who haven't seen their income expand in a similar way. The California solution to this problem used to just be moving out of the big cities, but environmental issues have caused raging, devastating wildfires to become more and more frequent. My school, UCSB, even had to cancel classes a few years ago because the smoke from surrounding fires made the air too dangerous to breathe. I have friends at Chico who had to evacuate as the campfire closed in on their campus. So while leaving big cities like San Francisco, LA, and San Jose neighbors in a drop in price, it comes with its own unique difficulties. So now what? Is it all doom and gloom? Is California bound to become a massive, uninhabited desert that's just a husk of its former self? No, it's not likely, and there's a few ways in which public
public officials and private companies plan to combat these problems. Property tax in California is actually ranked 35th in the nation, and there's a myriad of tax breaks like Prop 13 that can help you keep costs down. Apple, Google, and Facebook have pledged a combined $4.5 billion towards the construction of low-income housing throughout the state. Governor Gavin Newsom is being very aggressive with his stance towards affordable housing, going so far as to even sue the city of Huntington Beach for allegedly worsening the housing crisis. And certain companies like Airbnb, DoorDash, and Salesforce have vowed to stay in California and continue to create jobs for residents. This is obviously a very complicated problem that's been brewing for a long time. My home city of San Jose has seen incredible economic growth in the last few decades, but they've only built one unit of housing for every six jobs that have been created. The area used to be composed of simple orchards and farming communities, and it's clear that no one anticipated the economic boom that was going to happen when the tech geniuses emerged from their garages and started to sell computers to the world. California has been my home state since I was born, and I could never see myself living in another place. It's just too beautiful here, and there's still so many great opportunities everywhere you look. And while I think that this is a problem that's only going to get worse before it gets better, I have faith in our state's leaders, and I think they'll be able to create a plan that works for everyone. And that's the result of tons of research I did into the infamous California exodus that you've probably been hearing so much about recently. I hope you found today's video to be very informative because I tried my best to give a simple and objective view of everything that's happening. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, I appreciate every single one of you. See you guys again soon.